So you want to make more money. Well, who do you take advice from? Well, how about this man? His name's Darren Hardy. And just three years ago, he wrote this book on how to achieve success, happiness, and money, among other things. The book's called The Compound Effect, and this is what he accomplished. He said with the virtues and the traits that his dad instilled in him, um, by the age of 18, he had a six-figure income uh, on his own business. By 20, he owned his own home in an upscale neighborhood. By 24, he had an income that, income that grew to more than $1 million a year. And by age 27, he was a self-made billionaire with a business that brought in more than $50 million in revenue. And so he's writing this book, and he's not even 40 yet. And let me just uh, illustrate, you know, and tell you some of the things that makes him an interesting person and some of the traits he says that are very, very useful. Now, here's the thing. These traits may seem like common sense, but they are not so common sense. Common sense is not so common. Um, so here are some of the core philosophies that he uh, brings about. There's a lot. Uh, I just want to briefly go over a couple. He says his dad instilled in him a lot of things um, that's, that's very important. He says... His dad said that it doesn't matter how smart you are or aren't, you need to make up in hard work what you lack in experience, skill, intelligence, or innate ability. No matter what the challenge he taught me, if you aren't good at something, work harder, work smarter. That's very true. Work smarter. There's a lot of people who work very, very hard, um, you know, working 70, 80 hours a week at these uh, low paying jobs. You can work smarter than that, not just blindly going into uh, work that pays you by the hour. Um, and he said that his dad instilled in him a lot of these foundational uh, philosophies in terms of uh, just positive, steady, slow experience. This is what he calls himself. He's the tortoise, not the hare. And that is a great, great um, transition to what one of the principal points that he talks about in this book. And that is how these small subtle changes in yourself, many of the things I've already talked about, um, they will not be immediate, uh, immediate changes in your results. They will not show off um, and show up immediately in the next week, in the next year, in the next two years. And that is the kicker. Everyone wants immediate results. They think, okay, if I just read this book, if I take one hour out of my day, I should expect a million dollars sitting in my bank account by tomorrow. It's the same thing. And he says this applies to your income, your health, your relationships, your happiness, your success. And the greatest example, I mean, he gives a lot. He's like, do you expect to start running and on your eighth day of running all the weight that you've accumulated from the years of eating fast food to just dissipate do you expect to practice the piano for six months and to be able to play like beethoven or mozart do you expect to just contribute contribute to your retirement account and then after three months because you're not seeing the results you just stop contributing to it and he goes on and on, and I think this is a huge point. You know, this is something that's illustrated a lot. There's this other great book. It's called The 21 Secrets to Success and Happiness by John Templeton, a man who's in a lot of ways made much more money uh, than Darren Hardy, a huge r rags to riches story. And um, one of his points in his book is how you have to be a lifelong learner, just like how um, billionaire Charlie Munger he always emphasizes this point you have to be a lifelong learner and this is something I have said numerous times before I even read this book and what's the purpose of it well long story short what's said is that uh, Templeton says that this there are people who stop learning once they're finished school because they think they don't have to and he gives this story about this man who at the age of like 25 he's finished school and he has this job so he spends his free time just watching TV, doing nothing. And at the age of 40, he is pretty much the same person in terms of knowledge, skills, experience. Maybe not experience. Like, okay, not much 
added experience, life experience, as he was at 25. And that is in certain ways a wasted life, a wasted potential. Um, and so it illustrates a great point. As a lifelong learner, you may pay, be picking up very subtle, small things that on a day-to-day -day basis may not amount to much. But if you're consistent for the next decade or two decades, these can expand out to extreme changes in yourself. So again, um, that's all I got to say in a nutshell about this topic. And it is ridiculous how many people don't even respect this sort of stuff. Like I can be telling them this face to face and they will have no, they'll have no consideration for it. They won't care. They won't even think about it. So if you're watching this and you're still sticking around and you're, you're listening to it and you're open to it, then you are ahead of the crowd. And so I just want to conclude with this uh, little quote from his book. It says, um, What's most interesting about this process to me is that even though the results are massive, the steps in the moment don't feel significant. Which is, in certain ways, by the way, it's a great thing because that, that way it doesn't seem like some insurmountable goal if you focus on the day-to-day -day process. He says, Whether you're using this uh, to improve your health, relationships, finances, or anything else for that matter, the changes are so subtle that they are almost imperceptible. These small changes offer little or no immediate result, no big win, no obvious I told you so off payoff. So why bother? Well, because the long-term payoffs are, are huge. So think about it like this, small, subtle changes, and the key word is consistency. And I mean, how many people have failed to be consistent at the gym, in, in learning, in everything? So that's all I got to say, you know, pick up a book, start reading it. This is a great book to start um, if you don't know what book to start reading. I also recommend, again, if you want to start anywhere, start at the top. Um, look at the billionaires uh, and the, the books that have given the most wealth to people through people reading it. So uh, Sam Walton's Made, by, Made in America. A great, great book, even to this day, especially if you're a CEO or business owner. I recommend that book for sure. He's He made billions of dollars for Walmart. Um, and he himself accumulated billions, but was the most humble, down-to-earth guy. I can't even begin to tell you how humble he was. Um, and Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Anyhow, I'll see you guys later. Uh, thanks for watching. Peace.